Dear friends and followers, welcome to a lifestyle video of Bravo Architects. As promised three videos ago, I'm going to show you a complete workout at home without using any gym equipment. Yes, we're going to use only home equipment that can be found pretty much in every house. So in this four week home workout program, Monday will be chest and triceps. Tuesday, back and biceps. We're gonna work on abs on Wednesday. Thursday will be shoulders and forearms. Friday for legs. And Saturday again for abs. And finally, Sunday will be the off day to fully recover. On Monday, we have regular push ups, wide push ups, decline push ups, explosive push ups, diamond push ups, plus dips. Let's start with regular push-ups. It's very simple and it's the essential movement when it comes to bodyweight chest workout. Here is how it looks like from top. For wide push-ups, simply place your hands at a wider grip and keep pushing against the floor. For declined push-ups, place your feet on top of a chair and lower down until your nose touches the floor. In order to perform an explosive push-ups, you need to explode on top of a regular push-up wrap. And there is archer push-ups. Simply move your body to one side, leaning your weight to one of your arms while stretching the other one. The further your hand placement gets, more difficult the movement becomes. Next, diamond push-ups. Adjust your hand placement like a diamond and keep pushing up, concentrating on your triceps. Dips. Place your hands on a chair or two and lower your body until your arm reaches to a right angle. On back day, we have single arm row, weighted row, bicep curls, ankle curls. Wait, wait, yes. All you need to do is to fill a bucket with water and put it in your backpack. There we go with single arm rows. Just like you do with a dumbbell in the gym, right? It's getting closer. Let's switch hands. For weighted rows, you're gonna need something a little heavier. So Demijohn works the best. We can perform a bent over row, just like we do with barbell in the gym. Performing single arm bicep curls with the same weight back, make sure you twist your wrist for external range of motion. Don't forget about isometric hold on top and repeat until muscle failure. Ankle curls looks like a less effective exercise, but me, being the least flexible person on the planet, can still produce some biceps muscles. But if you're a superhuman like Gabo Saturno, you would probably be able to bite your foot. For training abs, we have Russian twist, heel touches, shoulder caps, plank up, and leg raises. Let's start with Russian twist. Get yourself an object, it can be a book, anything, lift your legs off the ground and twist your torso, left and right. It's For heel touches, lifting your shoulders a little bit off the floor, try to touch your heel and come back on each side. Shoulder taps. Get on a plank position on your hands and tap your shoulders one by one. Yeah. 
For plank ups, you need to change your plank position from hand to elbow. Leg raises. Raise your legs up until it's perpendicular to the floor. When you go back, don't let your heel touch down and simply lift back off. For shoulders and forearms workout, we have pike hold, pike push up, elevated pike hold, elevated pike push up, handstand hold, and bar twists. For pike hold, you can place your hands closer to your feet, getting on a folded position. For performing pike push-ups, you can lower your body until your forehead touches the floor and make sure your forearms are perpendicular to the ground. Repeating the same cycle with your feet on top of a chair would make you perform the elevated pike hold and, and elevated pike push-ups. Handstand hold might feel a little difficult in the beginning, but once you get used to balancing yourself, you're gonna wanna do it everywhere around the world. Bar twist is a great forearm movement that you can do with any stick. Hold it tight and rotate it by moving your wrists in an opposite direction. Already feeling the pump, you see? You can also do the same by moving them in the same direction. For legs workout, we're gonna do pistol squats, Bulgarian split squats, full side lunges, 180 jumping squats, single leg calf raises and wall sit. Pistol squat is squatting with single leg. My form is not the best when it comes to pistol squats, but you can master it first with assistance and then with practice. Bulgarian split squat is also squatting with single leg, but this time you have to place the other foot on the chair behind you. Full side lunges. It's a movement to collapse over your straight knee, bend on your one side, feel the tension and lift back off. One AD jumping squat is a breath cutting exercise with explosiveness. You need to turn around literally in the mid air. Single leg calf raises is a leg killer exercise. Place one foot on the edge of a step. Move your body up and down concentrating on your calves. Switch legs when you reach the muscle failure. You can drop the set by placing both feet on the step and repeating your max. Wall sit is an exercise I call making muscle just by sitting down and doing nothing. Hey, thanks everyone for watching this video. Don't forget, the furniture you have at home, door frame, handle, desk or table might not be strong enough to withstand the human weight or human strength. So training at home fully relying on those furnitures might actually be dangerous most of the time. This is why I covered the top exercises for full body workouts depending on only your body weight and some free weights that you can actually have a control over. Hope you enjoyed the video, give me a like if you did so and already start making your next month workout program. Stay tuned on Bravo Architects and see you in the next video.